Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube Cribs. This is the new nursery. Come check it out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the music is supposed to go on its own. My hair and my nails. <laughs> and then this is some baby teething stuff and stuff. I already have one of those. What? I'm not. Then, <laughs> let, let, just a segue over to the stroller. You guys need to leave. This has been YouTube Cribs. Peace. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I am in my Udi like usual. It is Monday and it is 8.30. I slept in today. But Mondays are my days where I could sleep in a little bit longer since I don't really have much work to do. I have a lot of vlogging to do, working out, and then like school. I have a lot of school on Mondays, but I don't have a lot of work. So I'm able to kind of sleep in. I don't know. Me and baby were tired today. We slept in a whole like, we slept like a good 10 hours, which usually I sleep like a good seven or seven or eight and I naturally wake up but today I woke up later than usual. I usually always wake up between six and seven. That's like my natural time to wake up. And I think it's because I've had alarms set for that long that like my body just wakes up at that time now. But yeah, I don't have to go to the gym today. Well, I can work out downstairs or go to the gym, but I don't have like a set time. Like I don't have a class or like my personal trainer or anything. So we are good for that. And I will tell you guys about this later. I don't really know what it is, but I'll tell you guys about it later. Let's make a coffee so I can wake up. I'm gonna do a chocolate. Sorry about the water in the background. I'm giving Sephora water from the tap. I'm doing a chocolate iced coffee today. This is my favorite part about making a coffee is seeing the cream go in. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So I don't put any extra sugar because there's already sugar in the chocolate. It's so good, yum. All right, I ate breakfast and now I just got changed. I'm not showering this morning because I'm gonna work out later. So I'm gonna shower probably after. Well, not probably, I will shower after. Here's a bump update. I am 20 weeks and two days and I'm definitely showing more this pregnancy than I was with Luca, like 110%. I also think I'm experiencing pelvic pain. I'm not 100% sure because I don't know what pelvic pain feels like, but I assume it's pain in your pelvis. <laughs> it feels like, I don't know, like when I get up after laying down, my stomach, not my stomach, sorry. My like hurts, like it feels like somebody just punched down there or like I worked it out super hard. That's kind of what it feels like. It's like in my groin area, but also like on my actual like bone. Like it feels like the bones are like sore. I don't know how to explain it. And it hurts when I like take wide steps or it hurts when I like have to put on like my sock like this. I don't know. It's weird though, because I was almost 23 weeks with Luca when I delivered him and I didn't remember, I don't remember having any pelvic pain. And um, I heard like working out can prevent pelvic pain. And I've been working out consistently now for three years. And during this pregnancy, I've been working out. Now I haven't been working out as much this pregnancy as I was with Luca because I was on bed rest for a little bit from my subchorionic hematoma. So I haven't worked out nearly as much this pregnancy as I have with Luca, but I have been working out consistently week by week doing different types of strength training. So I'm really not sure, but I am, I'm, I'm imagining that it's pelvic pain. I did get an ultrasound where they checked my cervix just to ensure that like the pain wasn't like contractions or my cervix dilating. So they checked that everything was fine. My cervix was closed and like breathe and something centimeters. So we are more than good. So I think it's pelvic pain but I'm not 100% sure. I ate breakfast, I had a coffee, I had a banana, and I had a breakfast sandwich. I try to have a fruit or vegetable with like every meal, just because that's the best way to get my fruits and vegetables in. And we're gonna brush my teeth. I'm like a person that, so if I leave the house, I brush my teeth whether I had breakfast or not. Like say if we're going out for breakfast, I'll brush my teeth then go out for breakfast. But if I'm at home, I usually have my coffee and then my breakfast and then brush my teeth. I don't know why. I don't know why I have a floss pick too, because I floss at nighttime. And we're gonna do a little bit of skincare. So what I use is niacinamide, which is safe for pregnancy, and my vitamin C serum from CeraVe. So this is from Good Molecules, this is from CeraVe, and then I also use Good Molecules SPF for my face. And that's what I'm gonna do today. And then for deodorant, I am using this Tom's unscented, long-lasting, aluminum-free deodorant. My armpits are super sensitive. I thought I was allergic to aluminum, but then I got a different aluminum-free deodorant, which completely broke me out. And the only thing I can think of is, so you know the deodorants, how there's like clear ones and then there's ones with like white? I noticed that I can only have clear deodorant. I don't know what's in there. Like the white ones are good because I'm pretty sure it's like a powder so that you sort of absorbs like your sweat. These ones, the clear ones that don't have white, you definitely sweat more but it does, you don't smell. I don't know what is in the ones with the white, like the powdery ones. Like, I wonder which one Josh has. 
Yeah, so like ones like this, I can't use. I break out every time, even if it's aluminum free. So they stopped selling my Lady Speed Stick Zero. It used to be the one that I used and they stopped selling it. Can't find it on Amazon and can't find it in the store. And I've been using that deodorant for years and they stopped selling it. So I don't really love this deodorant. It's not great, but whatever. Also, I got this tap like extender thing from Amazon and it's amazing for washing your face. Love. So you just connect it to your faucet. I'm gonna, I'll link it down below in my Amazon storefront. Look, you could do this and just like wash your face like that. It's so much better for washing your face. Look at this guys. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I didn't wash my face, I just rinsed it. The reason why I did that was because, actually I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use niacinamide right now. I'm gonna use vitamin C and then my sunscreen and that's it. I tend to use my niacinamide at night. I don't know why I took it out. I don't think I was thinking. I use my niacinamide at night. You can use it morning and night, but I just use vitamin C and sunscreen. Did you know that vitamin C increases like the effectiveness of sunscreen? And it's safe during pregnancy. I've been having a hard time finding like safe things during pregnancy. So I actually went on TikTok and I found a dermatologist who gave a list of pregnancy and breastfeeding safe skincare tips. Cause so I was using retinol before, which is not safe during pregnancy. And I also didn't know that you should be using a mineral sunscreen while pregnant, not a chemical sunscreen, which has also been super hard for me to find. So I just ordered two sunscreens for the summertime. Now let's address the elephant in the room, which is this right here. I don't know what it's from. So I, put on sun, like my, my face was fine all day and then I put spray tan on and then this like literally just came out and then I thought I could wipe it off, but I couldn't and now it's like a scab. I don't don't know if it's like I don't know what it is I don't know, and it doesn't hurt so I don't know if I like subconsciously like scratch myself with my nails or what but I don't know what it is all right I'm gonna go do school the sunscreen that I use by the way is either the CeraVe morning AM base lotion so it's I ran out of it but it's the AM version of this with SPF or the good molecules sunscreen but I've been using good molecules more I feel like it has less of like that white cast so yeah, let's go do school. All right, I haven't vlogged since this morning. I have been doing school for six hours now. It's now three o'clock. I'm starving. I did have some cottage cheese and some pickles while I was studying, but I keep forgetting like how fast time flies. And like, I'm like, why am I so hungry? And I'm like, oh yeah, like the last meal I had was literally breakfast, cottage cheese and like some pickles really is just a snack. Like I'm starving and it's three o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is probably grab like a quick granola bar or something and go work out. I probably probably should do school a little bit longer, but I'm so frustrated because I just literally got 75% on my first lab thing, which is horrible. I haven't got 75% on anything in my entire first semester. And it's because I put the word bones, cause we're doing everything online obviously. So you get your mark right away cause the teacher puts the correct answers in. And then obviously if your answer doesn't match, it like just marks it as wrong. And I put the word bones cause we have to label the bones of the human body. And I've been putting bones. So I'll put like frontal bone or mandal mandible bone or whatever the frick or like purples. And some of the some of them I put bones like the word bone and some of them I didn't and I guess I wasn't supposed to put the word bone Um, which I guess makes sense now that I'm thinking about it So I got all of those ones wrong even though the name of the bone was correct I added the word bone which was wrong But when she was doing the lecture she like checkmarked all the ones we need to memorize and all the ones she checkmarked said the word bone and so when i was typing it in i was just like assuming that the bones that she at anyways i'm not you guys don't care but i'm frustrated and i was gonna like message her and like try to get clarification on it and see if she'll like manually mark it right even though in the system it's marked as wrong because it's spelt right and it's correct i just added an extra word because i'm really frustrated so i decided i'm gonna go work out and i also need to get my body moving because i've been sitting for like six hours like obviously i got up to walk around go pee and stuff like that but i definitely need to move my my body so that's what we're gonna do because I really need to move my body so I'm going to put on a sports bra and head downstairs and probably do like a little cycling class and lift some weights because your girl needs to do something to not only let out my frustration but to move my body so I didn't end up working out because well you just don't want to and I don't have to so I'm building a human being and I'm gonna work out later this week but I didn't want to work out so for dinner today these are not craft singles by the way this is real cheddar cheese we ran out of the brick, so I'm using... We're not craft singles. 
It's not American cheese, it's real cheddar cheese. I just want everyone to know I'm not putting Kraft Singles on my shepherd's pie. So we're making a fake shepherd's pie. We're using ground chicken instead of, I think it's supposed to be made with lamb, but we make it with beef in America usually. And then- Even though we're in Canada. North America. And so we're using ground chicken and we've used ground chicken one time before, which is right now. That looks really bad. Stop. I've only, people love my cooking and they're gonna hate it after they see that. It looks so horrible. No, stop, stop, don't show them that. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> this is like one of those memes where you see, yes. oh, I can cook. Yeah, no, this look, I would make fun of someone if they posted this, so just don't look at it. No, I don't. Today is just one of those days where I It's just, a throw together day. Yes, and me and Josh are both in a bad mood today. We don't know why. So, yeah, anyways, we're using ground chicken because we're trying to eat less red meat. And we've tried this before. It lasted a day. But we haven't tried it like in cooking. That's true. Like we, 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 we were, didn't try to substitute. We were just like, well, we can't have tacos. Well, we can't have spaghetti. That's true. We didn't try to substitute it for like ground right. turkey. Or... And I've seen people use ground turkey in recipes for a long time now, but it just felt, I don't know, it felt weird because turkey's always dry. But we've tried this chicken one and so far it's really good. So next is we're going to try tacos with ground turkey. And? And Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. So buckle in. This is my shepherd's pie. It looks better, see, now that it's out of the oven. Looks better. <laughs> We're gonna try a bite with you guys. And I have to tell you guys thank you for something. What? I'm gonna tell them later. I don't even know. Well, you're gonna find out with them. Cool. Bottled water. Bottled water. It's hard to say, bottled water. Bottled water. <laughs> okay, I didn't let it rest, so that's my, it's my apologies. Shepherd's pie should come out like a sheet of lasagna, but I didn't let it rest. Sorry, okay, bye. Josh already ate it. Oh. <laughs> well, it looks like mush. My apologies, like I said. Mm. It's good. It's the same. It's Me, not anyway. it's not the chicken. It's the fact that there was no gluten-free shepherd's pie seasoning mix. Mm. That's the part where I think I'm is not tasting very good. It's not it's really good. It's not the chicken actually at all. I don't taste I don't taste any different. I don't taste the difference either. It's definitely just the fact that we didn't have the seasoning. I taste it, it's like more tomatoey. That being said, yeah. I I want to say thank you because I saw on TikTok, I kept getting tagged in like this random thing. Like I like seriously, like 50 to 60 people tagged me in it. And I was like, and it was this girl who made a post and she's like, what are some YouTubers that are more relatable and humble and just go around their, like their apartment slash house and just do normal things. And everyone was tagging me. They're like, she's my favorite. She's my favorite. And I was like, that's so sweet that people think about me. So yeah, I am that person that is like just a normal person that vlogs their life. I feel like a lot of influencers too have turned not relatable because they end up like getting money and they move to LA and they become not relatable anymore. But uh, Miss Humble Carly here. Do me to toot oh, my own horn. Do me to toot my own horn. But yeah, so. Oh my gosh. No, because why does Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke, not Diet Coke, I hate Diet Coke, but I know some people do like it. It hits so good pregnant. I remember, Actually, I was like this with Luca too. In the beginning of my pregnancies, oh, yeah. I was filling up my Stanleys with Diet Pepsi and just just destroying it. But yeah, anyways, cheers. So, oh, Sorry. <laughs> well, you blessed her room. Oh, yeah. I so we're in the baby's room and we just got a area rug. And oh, first of all, this is, I'm not even kidding. This is the softest rug I've ever felt. Yeah, it's really We nice. got this off Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks which is really good for an area rug. And I don't know why we're <coughs> why we're deciding to put it in here when there's a bunch of stuff on the floor. That's Should we it. roll it all out of the room and then put the carpet down and then put everything back in? We have a baby already. Um, he's right here. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is, matches the room literally perfectly, but it's so soft. <laughs> It's so, so. No. <laughs> I don't know why she's laughing that hard, but I don't know. Yeah, it's not so <gasps> It's really soft. It's so soft that it's slippery. Dude, look at that. I can make it to the whole other. <laughs> slip in that like if i was rushing to get the baby i'm wiping out but you know it's it, you're thinking about it you're thinking actively to not fall <laughs> that's, that's so stupid really nice though oh. it's really nice it's just easy to <laughs> i would 
do it, but I'm too scared I'm gonna fall. No, don't do it. Oh, uh, that's not normal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Please be careful. Uh, it's not. It doesn't even do, give you static because it's so no, soft. Yeah, it doesn't give you static at all. I don't know what to do. This doesn't seem safe. I know. Well, I like the carpet a lot. I, it literally, the colors Pretty are well literally perfect. I know. <sighs> maybe that's why she put it back. Seriously, maybe she didn't want it. She's like, this is very slippery. Seriously. Imagine we're like, oh, it's for a nursery. She goes, oh, this is going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also, we also thought it was going to be bigger than that. Yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. It's a good size. It's a nice size. I like we it. We can put it in front of our bed, if anything, if we don't like it in here. It is a beautiful carpet. Yeah, I, like it. It. I know I like it in here too, but it's not safe. Especially if she's learning how to walk with socks on, she's gonna wipe out. Then don't let her have socks on. I guess, yeah. That's true. But like, that's like annoying. Like, like, if I forget though, like, it's just like pointless. Well, walk. All right, guys, this vlog was kind of boring, but I made a vow to myself that I was gonna keep posting things, even if I felt like they were boring, because you guys just like to watch anything. This is just like the real life of Carly. I'm s I do nothing all day. I do school. I cook. I clean. I work out. I'm pregnant, and that's it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that area rug. I think I have to get rid of it, or I'm thinking of maybe like carpet shampooing it and then making it like hopefully that makes it not a soft. Like it being really soft is a good thing, but in this case, it's like really dangerous So I don't know what I should do Maybe the more that we walk on it the softer it will get I just don't feel comfortable with putting a toddler on there potentially like with like weaker legs Trying to learn how to crawl and then end up like slipping like I just don't feel comfortable with it But I don't know what to do with it now because it was on Facebook marketplace. So it's not like I can return it It was a hundred dollars beautiful rug like Literally, it matches the room perfectly. I don't know what to do, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.